Who is ready for some dumbbell strength and flexibility work? <laughs> Me too. Remember, if you're with a group, socially distance yourself six foot in every direction and wear your face mask. I'm all alone, so I'm taking this off for now so you can hear and see me. All right, so first, what do we start every workout with? A warm up. All right, let's get warm up. So we're gonna deep breath in the nose, out the mouth. All right, now as you inhale, we're gonna count four by tapping your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, and then same thing, exhale, same pattern, pointer, middle, ring, pinky. So it looks like this, inhale, exhale, inhale. Follow along, I hope you're doing it. Exhale. Let's add some arm motions. So as you inhale, move those fingers. We're gonna bring your arms up and cross your hands. And we exhale. Seems difficult. If this is too much for you to think about, too much to do, pick one or two, but all three is amazing. Remember, you can do this seated as well. If you wanna do it seated, I prefer standing. Ready, we inhale, four counts. Cross those arms and stretch, exhale. Good, inhale. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Let's do this one more time. Ready, we inhale. Move those fingers and tap them, then we stretch. Exhale, one, two, three, four. All right, I hope the brain is awake. We've got oxygen flowing through your cells. Let's move on to the next warm-up exercise. It's just gonna be an arm sprint. So we're moving those arms forward and backward, kind of like you're sprinting down the 100 meter dash in the Olympics. Everyone's cheering, <sighs> you're sprinting. Ready, set, let me see those arms. We've got 10 seconds here. <sighs> Try not to go side to side, all right? Make sure we're going forward, backward, forward, backward with good posture, no hunching. Take a break. We're gonna come back and do that again, but this time we twist. Twist, stretch, pull back in, twist and stretch. If you're seated, just you're doing this in a chair, stretch, stretch. One more time, stretch and stretch. All right, right back to that sprint, 10 seconds. Here we go, forward, backward, forward, backward. Keep those elbows tucked in. Don't hit the other person in the lane next to you. We want all that momentum going forward. Feels like I'm running at an incredible rate. Relax those arms. Here we go, twist and stretch. Ready, twist, stretch. Bring it back, twist, stretch. Bring it back, twist, stretch. Ah, I feel that warming me up. My spine is ready to go. Last one. Let's get one more warm up set in here. Arms are going 10 seconds. Cross that finish line fast, here we go. Maybe a little faster. Uh, hold on, hold on to the lead. Winner. Woo, you're all winners. Here we go, twist and stretch. Boom. Boom. Twist and stretch. Full workout today. We're working everything. Strength, flexibility, upper body, lower body, middle body. Ah, oh, good job. Shake it out. All right, last warm-up exercise before we get into the good stuff. All right, so we step together, we step apart. Follow my feet, together, apart, together, apart. This is 10 seconds, together, apart, together, apart, together, apart. All right, and relax. Now we're gonna stretch up and back, oh, and forward and down. So if you're seated, remember you're just doing this in your chair, all right? Up and back, oh, forward and down. All right, three times. 
Let's go back to the step together and apart. Together, apart. 10 seconds together, apart. You can go faster if this is too easy. Ooh, feel free to go faster. If not, just march it out. Apart together, changing that base of support wider and narrow. Ready for the stretch? We go up, we go down. We go up, we go down. And remember, if your feet are a little further apart, your balance is going to be better here. Stretch it up and back. Down and forward. Woo! Coming untucked there. Stay fancy. Get that tucked back in. All right. Let's move on to our lower body strength. Okay? So we're going to get something to help us with our balance here. I'm using this chair. You can use whatever you want, a walker, a scooter, a wall, a cane. All right, here's my chair. I'm going to bring my feet double shoulder width. So that means a little bit wider than shoulder width here. Holding on, and I just lunge one side and lunge the other side. All right, let me show you front. We're just going side to side. All right, strengthening those abductors. All right, we've got the quads, we've got the glutes, a little bit of hams, All right? Side to side. Follow with me, follow with me, keep it going and relax. All right, so we're hitting side to side lunges. I was 10 each side. Let's go leg extensions and curls. So we're gonna put it together and pretend you're kicking a soccer ball. Go ahead, hold on to that balance if you need it, but we wind up and kick. We bend and straighten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How far are you going to kick it? Right there. Maybe a field goal? Ah, one more. It's good. Other side. Ready? Bend it back. Kick it forward. Three, four, five, six. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Halfway there. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One more lower body strength exercise. This is a heel range, heel raises, all right? Big range of motion. So we're gonna bring those heels up and down. Two, three, four, five. Good, whole way up, six, seven, eight. Remember, it's okay if you hold on to something. And 10, good. All right, are we ready to do that one more time? Let's try it again, starting off with the hands on the chair. We're gonna go side to side lunges, okay? So it's okay if your range of motion is a little bit smaller. Our goal is to improve. Each day we improve a little bit more. If you're ready, you can go down even further. Stretch. Up. Stretch. Up. We're doing 20 total, 10 each side. And down. Up. Down. Up. Your goal, keep that shoulder, knee, and ankle in a straight line. All right. What we don't want to see is this. Ooh, put tension on that ankle and knee. All right. Hips go back. Shoulder, knee, and ankle in a straight line. Boom. Take a little break there, way to go. Warming up the lower body. We're not even warming up, we're past the warm up, we're strengthening. Let's go leg extensions. So wind up, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Kick it, yeah. Don't worry about kicking super high, control that motion. I know some of you are flexible, you can get your leg up higher than me. Ugh. Control the motion. If you kick, control it. Ah. Ah, one more. Woo! Let's get that other leg. Ready? Set. Pull it back. Kick it forward. Two, three, four. Breathe. We're breathing. Good posture. Stand up tall. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Bend it. Straighten it. Almost there. Two more. Last one. Bend and straighten, strengthening those legs. All right. Moving forward. What was the last one we did? 
Heel raises. Hold on to your object if you need to. Ready? Up. Down. We're only doing 10 of these. Seven, how high can you go? Eight, nine, strengthen the base of support. Ten, whew, I'm feeling strong. Grab some dumbbells, it's time to strengthen up. If you need to hit pause in the video, hit pause in the video. Lighter dumbbells are preferred here, all right? You can go heavier if you wanna go heavier, but make sure the first time you do this, start with light dumbbells. I'm using the six pounder here. I'm not afraid to admit it. Keep it light, keep it safe. All right, so once you get your dumbbells, we're gonna start with what's called a single arm snatch, okay? We're gonna go one arm at a time. I'll show you seated next, all right? If you're standing, we're gonna go between those knees, pull up above your head, all right? Try to make a straight line from your wrist to your elbow to your shoulder to your belly button, boom. And down, and up, and down, all right? We're going 10 on this side, there's three, Four, right? If you're seated, it's the same motion. Lean forward, sit up tall. Lean forward, up tall, or six. Seven. Eight. We're not messing around here. We're not doing little bicep curls. We're going the full thing. Whole way up, whole way down. Other arm, ready? Set, bring it down, bring it up. Bring it down, bring it up. If you can only get the here, that's fine, all right? So your elbow is out of line, but at least your wrist, your shoulder, and your belly button is in a straight line, all right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you standing again. Up and down. Up and down. Ready? Up and down. Up and down. Ten on each side. Boom. 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 I'm starting to break a sweat. I hope you are too. All right. So we're done with the single arm snatches. Let's move on to the next exercise. We have a bicep curl to a press forward. So again, two motions in one here. All right. Here's our seated one. We have our bicep curl, press, bicep curl, bicep curl, press, bicep curl. Good. As we're doing this, keep the shoulder blades back and together. Good posture. All right, avoid that slouching. Ready? Bicep curl, forward, bicep curl. Good, there's three, four. What are we going to? 10, up, six, and down, up. Ah, I'm going to pump you up. Who said that? Up, out, in. Down, one more, up, out, in, and down. Way to go. Woo, got those biceps, we got those shoulders, we got the chest. Let's do a little bent over kickbacks. So I'll show you standing first, then we'll do seated. So we're leaning forward just a little bit. Hands are right underneath of your shoulders. We're gonna start the long arm by pulling back, kick back, and then we'll repeat. Pull up and back. Start that long mower up. Back, in, down, up, back, in, down, get it. Oh, good balance here. If you need the chair, just set that chair underneath your hips, all right? We pull up, kick it back, in, and down. If you're thinking about breathing, we're going to breathe in, and then exhale. Then we inhale, and back down. Then we exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time here. Oh, oh my goodness, full body workout is right. <sighs> Let's move on, okay? We have a core exercise, one abdominal exercise, and it's just a twist, all right? So when you're doing this, we need to make sure you have good stability all right, we're not slouching, we're standing up tall with the correct posture. Arms gonna be at 90 degrees, close to your torso. Knees are bent, feet are apart. So it looks like this. Got it? And then all we do is twist side to side, twist, twist, twist. As you're going, that direction change is strengthening all the muscles next to your spine. 
don't, you don't have to go very far. It's just right here, like a washing machine on spin cycle. Go, 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 go. You get the 20 yet? Five. And relax. Okay. Let's start over. Here we go. We have that single arm snatch. Ready? Down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feel that? Eight, nine. And what's next? The other arm. Ready? Down and up. Down and up. Good. Three. Keep it light. I hope we're not doing, if your weight is so heavy that you can't do this with good form, get a lighter weight. Don't be ashamed. You're trying to improve yourself, not hurt yourself. So we inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Well, I think we have two more here. Nine and 10. What was next? Bicep curl and our press. Ready, here we go. Bicep curl, press it forward. One, here we go up. Two, let's get it. Three, and four. What's next? Five, are you smiling while we do this? Six, here we go. Exhale on the way up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one, let's get a good one. Good posture, sit up tall, and we're done with that. Remember the row and kick back. Here we go, back is neutral, all right? My hips move, not my back. No slouching, good posture. Row it up, row, kick, and exhale. Inhale, three, good, four, five, are you sweating? Six, seven, eight, come on, nine, almost there, burn is good, pain is bad, burn is good, there we go, what was our last one? Abdominal exercise, how do we do it? Twisting, all righty, good posture, sit up tall, elbows tucked in, hands by your torso, and we twist, boom, 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 boom. Go, 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 tall, tall, tall. Good, so I was just taking short, fast breaths there. Out in, out in, out in, out in. All right, the more you practice your breathing, the more it feels natural, all right? That's why a lot of our warm-ups and our cool-downs involve breathing exercises. Whew, I hope you're sweating too. This is great. Um, so put your dumbbells away. We're done with them for now, and we'll sanitize them later, okay? Let's work a little flexibility. I'll show you seated and standing, okay? If you need a break, go ahead, sit down. Shake those hands out, those wrists out. I'm probably a little bit tired from holding those dumbbells for the past eight minutes. Oh my goodness. All right. So one arm is going to reach up above your head and behind it. The other one is down behind your back and up. See how close you can get those hands together. I'm just holding for 10 seconds here. No slouching. All right. Try to sit up as tall as you can. And relax back to normal. Let's go to the other side. So one arm up. Remember, if you're sitting, just do this in the seat. And behind your head, the other arm back and behind your back. Or sorry, down and behind your back. 10 seconds. We're stretching, trying to get those fingertips close together. And relax. Woo, one more time here. Ready? First arm up, behind your head. Other arm down, behind the back, fingertips together. Exhale, relax all the tension, stretch a little further. Ah, the more we stretch, the less chance we have of getting super sore and the more flexibility preventing injury. 
Second arm up, behind the head, back, down, behind your back. Here we go, fingertips together. You can do the Caesar standing. If you're tired, you need a rest, go ahead and sit down. If you're not so tired, you like moving around, do it like this, standing up and pacing a little bit. Make sure we stay six feet apart from each other. Go ahead, rest, 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 relax. My mouth needs a rest from talking. Whew. This next one is a figure four. It's very difficult to do standing. I'm going to show you seated first, and then we'll do it standing. So one ankle goes over the other knee. All right, we're going to push down on that knee to stretch the hip. Hold it there for 10 seconds. Good. If we're standing, we're going here and down. Okay. Again, it's very difficult to do standing. You can do it seated and just get the same benefit. You're just not working on your balance. Let's grab that knee. We're going to give your knee a hug. So we pull it up. Good. If you're standing, we just grab that knee, pull it up, give it a hug, stretching the glute, the hips. 10 seconds again. Ah, way to go. I'm proud of everybody for finishing this workout. We've still got a little bit to go, but we're done with the hard stuff. All right, other ankle over your knee. Push that down. Stretch out the inner thigh, the hips. 10 seconds here. Relax into the stretch. Don't fight it. If you have pain, back off a little bit. It should be a little uncomfortable, but it should not be painful. Grab that knee, pull it up and hug it. Remember, if you're standing, we just do the same thing here. Up on one foot, pull it up and hug it, stretch. Woo! Feeling good in the neighborhood. Three, two, and one. Let's do that one more time. First leg, ankle over your knee, push it down, stretch. Got 10 seconds here. Now is when I hope you, if you have music, feel free to play this music. Now would be a great time for some calming spa music to relax. A little trinkling of water in the background, a little flute or violin. <laughs> you don't think I'm crazy, do you? <laughs> I heard that. Other leg, get that ankle over your knee, push it down. So some people might say, yeah, go ahead, lean forward, but then you're stretching your lower back too. Right now, we're just focusing on that hip. Good. Grab that knee and pull it up. Stretch. Hug your knee. Love your knee. Oh, knee, I missed you. Good, good, good. Ten whole seconds and relax. All right, let's move up. We're gonna get the neck stretched out a little bit. So again, you can stay seated, you can stand up. I'm just going ear to shoulder. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We are tense. We're using those dumbbells. We're holding the, the weight in the shoulders. So now we're just stretching it out. Go to the other side, other ear to other shoulder. Good. I love it. Relax that tension, breathe and stretch. Let's go chin to the sky. Stretch it up. Look it up high. Ten seconds. High to the sky. And back to neutral. Let's look down. Chin to your chest. Stretch it out. Again, if you feel pain, just back off a little bit. You should feel a little stretched, a little uncomfortable, but no pain. Ten seconds. Bring it back to neutral. Let's look over one shoulder. Turn. Ten seconds here. Keep breathing. And bring it to the other side. This is our cool downs. Flexibility. Ah. And back to the front. As I mentioned, we work breathing a lot. So let's do a little cool down breathing exercise. So we're going to take a deep breath in and exhale. And we're going to add two counts every time we inhale and exhale. If you feel dizzy, lightheaded, like you're going to faint, just stop. Go back to your normal breathing, okay? We're going to go the whole way to 10. All right, follow along as long as you feel comfortable, but stop if it feels weird, right? 
So we inhale two counts, exhale two counts, inhale for four, exhale for four. So we're starting to slow down your breathing. Inhale for six, exhale for six, for eight, even slower. Exhale for eight. All the way to 10, ready nice and slow. Exhale. Wow, so your heart rate should have slowed down during those low, long, long slow breaths. Got the oxygen out of my brain. It's in my body right now. Thank you so much for exercising with us today. Um, you know what? Let's do a quick game, all right? I almost cut you short there. This is supposed to be a 30 minute workout. We've got four minutes left. Let's do a quick memory reaction game. So I'm gonna to touch two body parts. I just want you to follow me, you ready? Touch, touch, you go. Touch your shoulder, touch your hip. Two body parts, elbow, knee. You go, touch that elbow. Me. So we're working on a little short-term memory reaction time here. Three body parts. Ready? Foot, hip, elbow. You go. All right. Three again. Ear, chin, belly button. Did you get it? Did you remember? Robert? Let's try four. See if you can remember four. Here it is. Head, shoulder, belly button, knee. You go. Good. Don't follow along as I'm doing it. Wait until I'm done, and then you go. Four more. Ready? Here it is. Hand, shoulder, chin, hip. You go. Can you remember four in a row? Should we try five? Grand finale. Last one. See if you can get five in a row. Ready? Knee. Elbow, shoulder, hip, head. Go. All right, way to go. Thanks for playing that game with us. I'm happy that you're happy. Let's end with a joke, we'll make you even more happy. Why couldn't the starfish get into college? Have you heard this one? Why couldn't the starfish get into college? Because his grades were below sea level. <laughs> Hope that brought a little laugh to your day. I hope you feel better, energized, more strong, more flexible. We'll see you next time right here.